Hi there, Bill Swede, Corporate Executive Chef here at Perky's Pizza. In this segment, we're going to go over non-proprietary toppings that can go on your pizza. Everybody knows that there are as many possibilities for pizza toppings as there is imagination. Here are some of the critical ones that we see most often and that we've actually developed some specialty recipe pizzas that work with these, along with many of the hot oven grinder sandwiches that we offer also use these same toppings. So we get multiple uses out of certain toppings in the program. Let me start you off with just some of the basics. You've got your fresh sliced mushrooms. We slice these at about a quarter to an eighth of an inch thick. You can either do them yourself, you can purchase them locally, you can get them through our food distribution channel. And in some cases, you can even get them pre-sliced to save you on labor with your staff. Red onions. We try to slice them at approximately the same thickness. We use red onions as opposed to yellow onions or Spanish onions or Vidalia onions, mainly because of a couple things. One, color. Obviously, that's going to cook up. It's going to show up really beautifully on your pizza. Two, sweetness. A red onion is going to cook up nice and sweet for you. Not quite as sweet as a Vidalia onion, but in a Vidalia, you're not going to get the color. The other factor, and this is probably the biggest thing, it's nice and dry. There's not a lot of moisture that comes out of a red onion when you cook it through the oven. Whereas other onions tend to give off a lot of moisture as they're cooked. The red onion is one of the driest out there. The other vegetable topping that I have here is our bell peppers. In this particular case, I've prepared some for you this morning. We call these stoplight peppers because they're red, yellow, and green just like traffic lights. These are the three main vegetable toppings that you'll see. Of course, you have things like olives and jalapenos and pineapple and things like that that come in cans or bottles that are very cost effective and quite popular in certain regions of the country. So don't look those uh, toppings and just say, hey, I don't need those. Listen to your customers. If there's a market for it, offer it. As far as meat toppings go, Italian meatballs. These meatballs are absolutely terrific. We typically on a pizza will quarter cut them and place them just like we do any other placement topping like pepperoni or sliced ham. Garlic marinated chicken. This is a whole muscle breast meat. It's lightly grilled after it's been marinated in a garlic smoke and black pepper marinade. You can actually see the grill marks on the little pieces of chicken. This is a terrific topping. We do a fabulous barbecue chicken pizza along with a few others. And again, this is one of the primary toppings that we integrate into our hot oven grinder program. The other topping here, I've got two little spots for it because, quite frankly, who doesn't love bacon? So we've got some crumbled bacon. This is an actual bacon piece. This is not like that gravel-looking lava rock stuff that you see on some salad bars. This is real bacon. We always put that on a pizza last. And the reason we do that is so that it's up top, it gets exposed to a lot of heat as it goes through the oven, so it bakes up crispy. The aroma is out of this world when it goes through the oven. Let's talk about the placement of these toppings in your prep table because you're starting to think, where am I going to put all this stuff? Well, that's where we go back to our small wares. And we, as we talked about, the one ninth size pans are quite handy for some of these slower mover items. Things like the onions, the mushrooms, the peppers, and the bacon. The larger pans are great for the chicken and the meatballs, just as they would be for like pepperoni and sausage or fast moving items. So these are basically your alternate toppings the extended toppings that you may want to offer. If you're offering some of our specialty recipe pizzas, you're going to see these items called out in those recipes in various amounts depending on what the pizza is. If you have questions on any of these type of a toppings or how to prepare them or the slice cuts, you know, to make sure that they cook up beautifully when they go through the oven, just give me a holler. That's what we're here for. Talk to you soon.